profitable attack strategy yeah is that what we want to do is we want to consider we want to consider uh, this particular limit as it gets close to four okay so what i'm going to do is we're just going to restrict x minus four so we're going to restrict restrict uh, x minus four okay to be the absolute value of x minus four to be within one unit of of four. In other words, I'm choosing a delta is equal to one here. So what we're really saying here is choose delta equal to delta equal to one. And let's see what happens here. And from this particular fact, so we're really close now to four. We're in within one unit of four. And let's see what this says about 17x plus two and also 51x minus, sorry, plus 85. So let's take the first one. And uh, let's say 17x plus two. So from this, uh, this implies that minus one is less than x minus four, which is less than one. I'd like 17x plus two to be in here. So if I multiply across by 17, this implies that minus 17 is less than 17 times x is 17x. And four times 17, four times <coughs> seven, excuse me, four times 17 uh, is going to give us, uh, that's going to give us uh, four times, minus four times 17 is going to give us minus 68. Okay, uh, that that needs to be less than that, that needs to be less than seventeen. Okay, so that's good. Uh, but what I'd really like to have is seventeen x plus two. So what do I need to add on here? I need to add on seventy here to make this a plus two, because minus sixty eight plus seventy will give us a plus two. So if I add on seventy across this particular inequality, so this becomes minus seventeen plus seventy must be less than seventeen x plus two which must be less than 17 plus 70, okay? It's terrible looking numbers, okay? But what we end up with here is we end up with that. This is, well, 17 taken away from 70. This implies that 63 must be less than 17x plus two, which must be less than, must be less than 87. But the important thing here is this, is that we just want to really see what's going on with 17x plus two. What's going on with this absolute value very close to four, okay? So within one unit of four, what we do now know is this, is that 17x plus two is bounded below by 63 and bounded above by 87. Now, what about the other, the other factor here? What about 51x plus 85? Well, also when we do this restriction, okay? So when, when the absolute value of x minus four is less than one, well, this implies that once again, minus one is less than x minus four, which is less than one. I'd like to have 51x plus 85 in here. So if I multiply across by 51, this becomes, this implies that minus 51 is less than 51x minus four times 50. So minus four times 50, minus four times uh, 51 gives us uh, minus 204 must be less than 51 times one gives us 51. So it's just a bit of work with the numbers. Now, we don't want, we, have, we now have 51x minus 204. I want 51x plus, I want 51x uh, plus 85 here. So if we add on here, what do we need? What do we need to add on to minus 204 to get 85? Well, I need to add on 289. So this implies that minus 51 plus 289 is less than 51x. And when I add 289 onto 204, I end up with plus 85, that this must be less than 51 plus 289, okay? And then when we work this out, this implies, well, what we end up with is we end up with that 51 away from 289 is 248, must be less than 51x, plus 85 is less than 51 plus 289 is going to give us uh, 300. <clears throat> so if we add them two things here together, uh, 51, sorry, no, 51 plus 289 uh, is going to give us, uh, that's going to give us, let's just actually do that there, 289 plus 51, uh, that gives us zero, that gives us uh, eight and six gives us 14. So that's gonna be 300 and 340 if I haven't made any 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 mistakes here, okay? So that's 340, okay? Uh, is that right there now? Yeah, 289 minus 204 gives us 85. That's, that's correct, yeah. Okay, so now what we have now is this fact here 
is what we know now is this, is that 51x plus 85 is bounded below by 249 and bounded above by 340. So now we can go back to this particular fact here. See, this is all the work. We just have the tenacity here now, yeah? Before we even start the proof, we're just trying to find this appropriate delta. So now let's go back to this particular fact here, okay? We need to show this is less than epsilon. We, well, not that it's less than epsilon. We need to find a delta that satisfies this particular condition here. Let's have a look at this. So from, so we need from this particular fact here, and also the condition that we have, the condition that we have here, okay? So we know that the absolute value of x minus four, okay, times the absolute value of 17x plus two, we know that this must be less than the absolute value of x minus four times a number that's bigger than 17x plus two, okay? So 